السلام علیکم لسنرز اینڈ ویورز دس از می یور ہوسٹ فہا جونس اینڈ یو ار واچنگ میری کہانی اینڈ لسنرز ویورز ایز یو نو ان میری کہانی شو وی بین انوائٹنگ ا لاٹ اف ونڈرفل سیلیبریٹیز ہو کم ٹو اور شو دے شیئر دیئر لائف اسٹوریز اینڈ انسپائر ا لاٹ اف ادر پیپل ہو ار لسننگ اور واچنگ اس آن ڈفرنٹ فورمز دا پرپس اف دس شو از ٹو کم اپ وتھ سچ سیلیبریٹیز ہو ریئلی ار ویلنگ ٹو ٹیچ ادرز وایا سوشل میڈیا اور وایا دیئر پلیٹ فارمز وٹ دے ار ڈوئنگ اینڈ وی آفن ٹرائی to introduce you with especially international celebrities who are doing something which should be beneficial for you as well uh, for uh, you know your career or maybe you can get some uh, exposures from uh, the experiments of their lives so we are also having a very lovely and special guest uh, today live with us as well and he is uh, Leland Best live with us from USA and uh, just let me uh, tell you a little bit about uh, Sir Leland He is just amazing and you know I've been uh, following him on Facebook and watching him live feeds. Uh, he is a perfect host and he's uh, doing uh, some show on uh, social media and also he has spent a great life in past. So we would uh, love to uh, hear his story today and there are a lot of things which we, even I don't know about his life. So we would uh, try to find uh, Sir Leland uh, behind this season. Uh, sir, thank you very much. Uh, you joined us today and most welcome in our studios. How are you doing today? It's, I'm having a wonderful morning. Thanks for having me, Fahad. It's my pleasure to be here on the Marikani Show. So thanks for having me. Thank you very much, sir. And it's our prayer that too, you came our show. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty confused with you know, your intro because you had done a lot of things in the past and you are doing right on many things. <laughs> so what happened in your life? Would you love to share with our audience? Sure. Um, I, I tell people I wore a lot, a lot of hats is what we say over here, which means we've had a lot of things take place in our lives. And honestly, if I, if I do a synopsis of my life as a business, I went to school as an accounting student of the year when I graduated, and I thought I was going to be an accountant. But during that process, as an accountant, which I worked for General Motors, I used to spend millions of dollars of their money over the years, and I worked as an accountant for the Detroit Lions, which is a famous football team over here in Michigan. After that, I was in a motorcycle accident. So it put me up on crutches for a little while, which made me realize maybe accounting wasn't really my thing. And I took a job, a very low paying job as a blueprint operator at an engineering firm. So from there, I learned how to draft And yet I always told my mom I wanted to draw for a living. That was my, I was a bit of an artist in my young days. And that gave, that was the first stepping stone. So I learned to draft by hand in the civil engineering community. I learned uh, AutoCAD. I went, when AutoCAD first came out, that was like my, my little bread, bit of bread and butter. So for nearly 25 years, I worked in the civil engineering community as a civil engineer's technician. And it was about halfway through that career, about 10 years in, that I decided to go out on my own as a designer and start my first company. So when I was about 23, I was, my, I was in a family, I was about to have children, I decided it was time. So I started a business and it was that entrepreneurship that took forward uh, everything that I did since then. So. Outside of that, uh, I worked the rest of my time as the engineering, uh, in the engineering field. And then uh, just before some incident took place over here in the US, which you're all familiar with, uh, that took place on 9-11. And there's no, I have no animosity whatsoever in any way as to how it happened or where it happened or what, but I became a fireman. And it was very interesting at that point because I wasn't sure what I was doing or why. I just decided I wanted to be a fireman. So for four years, I served my My community is that. And then I went back to work for people as an engineer, uh, per se, and again, a designer in the engineering field. And then that just got boring. I, I, I couldn't take it anymore. It was starting to get on my nerves. And uh, I had had training in radio and television for years in high school. And then I worked for a cable company during a period of my life as a, a camera operator and a studio technician. So I learned all of this stuff but at an earlier age and I never really applied it. And then after I left the fire department, I decided to become a DJ. So for another few years, I was a radio DJ. And then I left that trade for a while because I moved uh, halfway across the state and got involved in fire and water damage restoration. So you can see where everything changes now and then as my career moved on. That wasn't for me. So I came back to 
work for myself. And in that process, I discovered that when online streaming came out, where we could do these things ourselves and broadcast a television signal of our own, I was hooked and I figured I this is where I had to be. So now here I am broadcasting as the two logos you see on my screen here. One BCB Live is my best conceptions broadcasting studio. And Leland Best Live is just the logo that I use to represent myself when I decide to come out and talk to the people. So I've gone from accountant to, I guess if you called me a celebrity, I'll, I'll take that, I guess, but I don't consider myself a celebrity. I'm just out here to deliver a message. I really appreciate the way you're working and uh, thank you very much for sharing your uh, all entire life uh, of past journey and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Sir Leland, a lot of listeners and viewers who are listening and watching especially in Pakistan, they would definitely love to know, I mean, uh, what you're doing right now, uh, what is the purpose of this thing and what should be impact of such projects which are doing uh, right now? Well. It really came about as I started marketing in this field. It was something that I was using to market myself as an entrepreneur because I was writing reviews for certain types of products that people use in marketing, a lot of social media type stuff. But I've never considered myself a social media guru, so I needed to find a different approach. And I'd been editing video for a long time, so, uh, but never as a business. It was something that I just did. I created hundreds of videos on my own for marketing purposes. And then I started to realize when people were doing live stream shows uh, at their own homes, many of them didn't understand how to edit the videos. So I decided to start producing my own shows using the software that I have available to me here. And in that process, I've also been able to make a business out of producing shows, editing people's videos, getting them back to them so that they can create their own shows. And I still use the marketing aspect as a means to generate an income by producing videos uh, to sell products or services. So it's been working out pretty well. All right, awesome. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sir Leland, for sharing this uh, with our audience. And uh, we would love to know, uh, as you mentioned, your uh, Leland uh, best live stream, uh, you know, and other yeah. things you're doing. So how people can, I mean, reach you out, how they can watch your stuff, uh, which is online or you're streaming online. I mean, what are the resources to find you on social media and especially your work? Certainly. Um, you can find me just about everywhere, but with the, the the sands of social media changing ever so much. Um, I have accounts on LinkedIn as Leland Best. I'm available on Twitter at Leland Best. You can find me on Facebook at Leland Best Live. And I also do a show on a regular basis with a gentleman by the name of Stephen, Stephen Healy, who's in the UK. Uh, every Tuesday at noon Eastern time in the U.S., we do a show called Across the Pond Live, which is just a connecting point between the U.K. and the U.S. so that we can discuss current events. So that show is available at Across the Pond Live on Facebook. And I have a YouTube channel known as Best at YouTube, along with the fact that we are starting to build our YouTube channel for Across the Pond Live. Uh, I've got some other things in the works that I've been considering some shows that I used to do that I haven't done in a while, uh, one of them being The Nothing Show. So I'm looking forward to hopefully opening that back up. And I'm not sure when or where I'm going to broadcast that particular show yet, but it's something based on the fact that I start with nothing, so come on by and let's make something of it. And I get audience participation to join in and make it something fun for everybody. So I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Wonderful. All the best uh, with your upcoming show as well. And so, Lila, uh, our audience would definitely love to uh, get a special message from you and especially uh, for the students who are in universities. Would you love to say something to our Pakistani audience especially? Absolutely. I have had such a pleasure for Had getting to know the people in Pakistan. And I think it's it's a sad truth that not many of us here in the U.S. actually knew enough about Pakistan to really be able to gain a, a good knowledge in our heads or an image in our heads of what's going on over in your country. So I, I highly recommend for all those people who are coming out of school, especially those who want to get involved in this live streaming aspect of things and doing live video, Get out and, and let people know who you are. Introduce yourself. Talk to people. Uh, let yourself be known on social media because there is a, a veil of secrecy that's been attached to either side of the world, I think, from both sides because 
they're just not comfortable. They don't understand each type of atmosphere. They don't understand the cultures. And the only way we're ever going to be able to do so is to connect one-on-one. -on -one. So don't fear the people. It's, it's the higher-ups that are trying to control our thinking process and the way that we should connect with each other. And I think I've already discovered just over the last few weeks that we are people. We all love each other. We want to get together more often and, and find new friends and things of that nature. So don't be afraid of what's on the other side of the pond. I'm certainly learning that there's nothing to be afraid of in the East. I just need to be, you know, very careful who I meet. I mean, that's obvious anywhere you go. So just Take it as it is and understand that there are loving people across the world that are there to be your friend. You just need to approach it properly and respectfully and then, you know, form a relationship and a bond will incur, incur from that. So. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, your remarks about, uh, uh, you know, the Pakistani people and especially uh, what you observed uh, as you are, uh, you know, sharing that you met many, many amazing people. So it's also a player oh, for the Pakistani audience and Pakistani people, including me, you know, who met you and uh, even, uh, you know, as a producer, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just junior in this field. I'm learning a lot of things uh, from you as well. So uh, I think I might have uh, some advice uh, for our show but before this i would love to uh, ask uh, you know about this production thing uh, which you are doing right now and you are a live streamer so uh, would you love to i mean convey any special me message about this you know live oh, sure. thing about this uh, production and etc all this stuff absolutely and i i've you might consider myself a beta tester. So ever since live, live streaming isn't new, it's been around for a good 10 years. I mean, this is something that we've all known about. We used to do it for video gaming and things of that nature when we were younger. Uh, but what's really opened up this whole avenue of streaming is the processing, the, the ability to do it through a web browser. So what we're finding is there's several platforms that people who don't want to get technical about it can go to and try out so that they can see them. I focus on a couple in particular, which would be smiletime.com and BC or uh, BeLive.tv. So these are two platforms that work really well for people who aren't technically inclined. Myself, I use a software technique known as vMix, and the software is available to try out. If you think you want to give it a shot, you can head out to vMixHD.com and download a free version for 60 days of the pro software that I use that you see generating the screen behind me. This is a green screen. So as Fahad knows, I'm just playing around over here with my processing so that I can produce what looks like a studio, and I'm going to have to fix that a little bit. Um, and in order to do that, see, let me fix this. See, this is this is something I love about live video is that you never know what's going to happen. So in this case, I have the curtain opened behind me, kind of like that Wizard of Oz thing, like don't pay attention what's behind the curtain. Um, this is a way to generate all kinds of cool effects. And there are other softwares much like it out there that you can use. So never be afraid of the technology is what I'm trying to get at because there's really nothing to be afraid of. It's just a matter of a learning curve. If you can take the time to study the software and learn it, um, some of them are a couple of push buttons on Facebook Live. You can go out and be on Facebook Live. YouTube, same way. You can just click a couple buttons and you can go live. As long as you have the camera, the equipment, uh, a small computer that will run the video, and a personality. You do have to practice a little bit to get in front of the camera to know what it's like to be on camera. And don't think that you, you're gonna be perfect the first time. Simply grab it, record it, delete it, do it again, whatever you have to do. And then if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. There's a lot of us out here that have been doing it for years. So just come to us and see if we can help and we'd be happy to do that. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for sharing all this stuff. And thank you very much for the special advices and giving us exposure of this green skin thing. Of course, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, technology is awesome and uh, uh, everyone can learn it. And it's, I think, uh, pretty technical, but pretty easy as well if you try to yes. learn it. So, uh, Sir Leland, now I would love to ask you about uh, our show, Meri Kahani Show, which we are doing. Uh, would you love to say anything about our show or any suggestions for us? 
Well, it's it's a tough one. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen a whole lot of episodes of Mary Connie yet, Fahad. So I want to kind of be, I'm, I'm going to take a step back and say, allow me the opportunity to see some more of your broadcasts because I've just been in a heap of, of business meetings and things like that over the last few weeks since we've met. And I know I would love to spend more time with you as to how you produce your show, which is a little different than the way I produce mine. Typically, a lot of mine are produced on the spot and we don't do a whole lot of editing of them. And I know with you, we tend to get together and then there's a lot of post-production, which is great because that really creates the type of streamlined process that people need to get involved with in order to do quality video. I've seen nothing but quality work out of your products. I, I love your website. I love the fact that you're available to the community, that people can come to you and, and be on your show. And I, I could probably recommend a few people that I've met recently that would love to be on your show. Uh, they've talked to me and they're actually in Pakistan. So uh, we'll have to get together after the show here and discuss some of your potential future guests. Uh, I think this is a great platform. It's a wonderful setup that you have here. I love your virtual studios, something I use a little bit, but you use them to a much higher degree than I do. And that's something I really would probably learn a little bit from you on. So we'll have to get together and work together. Thank you, my sir. Uh, of course, your words mean a lot. And, uh, uh, you know, we often try to learn from our guests as well. You know, they come to our show and they, right. you know, uh, they teach us something as well. So we'll be connected and stay in touch with us. And please keep uh, guiding us because you are a great producer, no doubt. Uh, anything else? My pleasure. Are you want to add at the end of this show? Well, I think if anything, moving forward, we do have to realize with these two separate cultures we've just met, and there are great things, great potential. I see so many people working together recently. I've been trying to work with some of the Pakistani people. I've got friends that are helping them work on their English. Uh, we do have a group known as Worldwide Live that's on Facebook. So if you're coming in from Pakistan, India, Kashmir, any of those surrounding territories and you want to get involved in live streaming, please look for me on Facebook. And if you find the group known as Worldwide Live, uh, it is a closed group. We keep it kind of secure so that that way you get a little bit more hands-on with the people that are working there. It's myself, my other friend, Chris Ripka, who runs Raw and Real podcast, and Charlene Burke, who is an individual who works in business, social media, uh, teaching. She's a wonderful person, and she's done nothing but help us move forward. So what we're doing is we're bringing those people that come to the U.S., want to know more about what we're doing, into that group and then if we can help them find what they're looking for, if, if there's an electrical engineer that needs to find a job in engineering, we will try to help that person find that person over on this side of the pond. So that's kind of the, the major goal of that group is to just connect the US with Pakistan on a little higher level and then decide as working together what we can accomplish is really just I think the only way we're going to find peace in this world is if we all work toward it without trying to uh, look at each other through the eyes of those who want to do nothing but create a mess of this world. So uh, let's let's just work being people. Let's show some love to each other and move ahead and, and make this world a better place. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir, Leland, best for uh, everything you shared in this show. And thank you very much for the best piece of advice that you gave over today. And thank you once again for sharing uh, your journey of life. It was pretty, you know, interesting and uh, uh, we'll be connected in future as well. And would love to have a lot of other episodes in maybe some other uh, show. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe one way or another, Fahad, you and I could work on a small project and share back and forth different uh, cultural aspects of the two countries. And I think similar to what Stephen and I do on Across the Pond, maybe we could come up with a, a snazzy name for what that connection to Pakistan would be. So looking forward to working with you. For sure. for sure. For sure. For sure. All right. Thank you very much. Take a lot of care. See you guys soon. You're welcome, Fahad. You have a great day. And I hope I know with the nine hour time difference, it's always hard to say. I could say good morning. You'd be saying good evening. So um, <laughs> over there, I know it's the afternoon, but I'm just getting up this morning. So uh, from over here in the U.S., it's been a great morning. And if you do need any help, go check out my website, bcblive.com, right. where all of the connections you would ever need for live streaming are available. So go go meet me there. Take care. Thank you, everybody, sir. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.
All right, so you hear the story of Sir Leland Best. He was live with us from USA. Sir Leland shared all his stuff. Uh, you know, he shared his journey of life and he also shared what he's doing right now. You can uh, learn a lot of things from his profile, from his website and other social media pages, which he uh, shared in this uh, uh, episode. Uh, you can also find a lot of other uh, episodes, especially a lot of great interviews with partners on our website, which is www.merikahani.org as well as at www.facebook.com slash Kahani. This was all from today. And this is Nifahaj. We'll see you in next episode. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.